parties cleared over and Jessica Lal's killer Manu Sharma is now back in Delhi's Tihar jail a day after he made headlines for a scuffle at a Delhi nightclub. Well, the Delhi chief minister who cleared his parole is clearly on the back foot as everyone wants to know how a man convicted of a murder in a nightclub could be back in a nightclub picking up a fight when he's meant to be serving a life sentence. I'm sorry I've put you through this ordeal. May I assure you I have done no wrong. Maybe it is my fate. I love you very much and I know you will not let me do what I'm about to do. I will be gone by the time you get this letter. The media has formed a very biased opinion about me without any facts. They're very powerful and they will not let me live. If I'm around you, they will make your life hell as well. I'm going to surrender to the jail and I don't know when I will see you again. But I love you very much and I can't see you go through all this. With this letter, Manu Sharma ended his parole party and voluntarily went back to jail 12 days before his parole was to end on the 22nd of November. But his loving note to his parents is unlikely to garner any sympathy for the man in jail for the murder of Jessica Lal. On the grounds on which he got parole, A, you need to check them out. Who is who's investigating that his mother's actually unwell before you let a criminal out of jail? Under the scanner, Congress's chief minister of Delhi who signed Manu's parole papers. Manu's father is a powerful Congress politician from Haryana, an MLA and close friend of Haryana Chief Minister Bhupinder Singh Hooda. After the recent assembly elections, when the Congress failed to get a majority, Vinod Sharma played a crucial role in getting seven independents to the party's fold. And the Congress insists nothing illegal was done. No, I think uh, whatever was done by the Delhi government was as per the rules. And the uh, Chief Minister and uh, LG's office has clarified whatever has happened. I don't know what penal law is. You must be a lawyer, you must be, I have no idea. Manu's lawyer, however, may find it hard to get him out of parole anytime soon. Apart from the public outcry, the reasons given by Sharma to get out of jail are not entirely true. Sharma got out in September, but look at these pictures showing his mother, Shakti Rani Sharma, campaigning for the Haryana elections last month. He had said he wanted to be with his aging mother. He's just out without any remorse and having a good time, which should not be the case, you know, and going to public places where he, where he has done something really heinous, you know, before. He should not be allowed to do that. Um, it also kind of shows that there is certain loopholes within the system. Manu Sharma may be back in jail, but this entire episode has brought into focus just how law can be misused to benefit an accused. Perhaps it's time for greater scrutiny before benefits like parole and bail are extended to them. In New Delhi with Bureau Inputs, Anasya Roy for NDTV.